Hello everyone. Think like a proton and stay positive. Chemistry is like a magic, but real. Let's check. Don't scared. Chemists have all the solutions. Hello everyone. I'm Ananya from Kolkata. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. Stay at home. Don't go to the gathering. Avoid the queue and be positive be healthy and be safe don't panic we can fight against this corona covid 19 virus and we can win so you should maintain and obey the rules by the government don't be panic just take care of yourself and your family do please take care of your children and the elders because they are very much prone to this virus wash your hand with sanitizer and liquid soap use the face mask if you have to go outside don't forget to wash your hands after half an hour or one hour later stay at home and eat the healthy foods spend the quality time with your family Are you feeling bored? Time is running out. Let's check chemically. I drink coffee periodically and think about my genius students. Genius, don't waste the time at home. Let's check the video. Chemistry mainly three branches are there: physical, inorganic and organic. the whole world or the universe can be classified into energy and matter energy is totally related with the physics and matter is a classified into two division pure substance and mixture now pure substance can be classified again into elements and compounds and mixtures are two divisions homogeneous and heterogeneous elements we all know can be classified again into metals non metals and metalloids compounds are organic and inorganic now today i will start with a topic with inorganic chemistry let's start the inorganic chemistry periodic table that periodic table is the most important chapter for inorganic chemistry so the main important features of periodic table let's start with the important points periodicity of properties of elements mendeleev periodic law merits and limitations of mendeleev's periodic table then we have modern periodic law and the periodicity properties in details now let's check the key concept what is periodic table or why we need this periodic table the term periodic means the recurrence of anything at regular intervals and the word table here stands for the set of elements so arranged So hence the periodic table refers to a cluster of elements set in a manner where the elements exhibit repetitions of some physical and chemical properties now this periodic city of properties of elements so what is mean by the periodicity properties the elements are arranged on a certain principle like some properties of atomic sizes metallic and non metallic character electronegativity of the elements let's start with the dobenner's triad when elements were arranged in the order of increasing atomic masses group of three elements which is known as the triad having similar chemical properties are obtained Now let's check the atomic mass of the middle element of the triad was roughly the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements. So look at the table. 
Here the calcium, strontium and barium whose atomic masses are given 40.1, 87.6, Now the first element calcium and the last element barium if we add the total 40.1 and 137.3 and average that total value we will get 88.7 which is nearly equal to the 87.6 which is strontium. So this Drobenius triad is applicable for only few elements. Like the limitations of Drobenius triads, only three triads were recognized from the elements known at that time. Lithium, sodium, potassium, calcium, strontium, barium, Chlorine, Bromine and Iodine. So after this triad, Newland, the law of octaves, where Newland in 1864 arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic masses and found that the properties of every eighth element is similar to that of the first element. So it's a very interesting octave rule Newland gave. He compared this to the octave found in the music and called it the law of octave. For example, the properties of lithium and sodium were found to be the same. Now look at the table. Here we know the sa re ga ma pa dha ni or do re mi fa so la ti. So here he arranged like an octave of music. So it's a very interesting triad rule. Interesting, sorry, octave rule. Uh, hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. Again, fluorine, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur. Then chlorine, potassium, calcium. He arranged these elements in a such a way like lithium and sodium or potassium, they all have the repetitive similar in properties of physical and chemical properties. So next let's check the limitations of Newland octave. It was applicable up to calcium only for the lighter elements. Properties of new discovered elements did not fit into the law of octave. So that's why the limitations of Newland law of octave is very important. After that, Mendeleev's came with his Mendeleev's periodic law. And he was known as the father of periodic table. The physical and the chemical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic weights. Please remember this is the atomic weights. Mendeley's periodic table contains 7 periods, horizontal rows and 8 groups in vertical column. Like group 1 to 7 contains subgroups of A and B. But in group 8 there is no subgroups. Now let's start with the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Some gaps were left for the undiscovered elements like gallium, scandinium and germanium. So these names are written in the star mark. Look at the below. Eka boron it's known as scandium. Eka aluminium is known as gallium and Eka silicon is germanium. So these three names are very very important for your exam. So please learn this Eka boron, Eka aluminium and Eka silicon. Okay, next come to the second point. Periodic properties of elements on the basis of their position in the periodic table. And the third one, accommodate noble gases when they were discovered without disturbing the original arrangement. Next, 
point is the demerits or the limitations of mendeliev's periodic table now what are the limitations let's check the position of isotope could not be explained so it is the very important point isotope now the question is what is isotope isotope are the atoms of the same element having different mass number but same atomic number different mass number means here the different in the number of neutrons the examples are given hydrogen 11 that is protium hydrogen 21 that is deuterium and hydrogen 31 that is tritium so these are the similar elements of hydrogen but have different number of mass number but similar in atomic number so all of you have understood i think what is isotope now let's check the next point next limitation of mendeliev's periodic table there is no fixed position for hydrogen so here is the very important question why hydrogen is known as rough element or the naughty element hydrogen can be placed in group 1 with the alkali metal as well as with group 7b halogen non metals so hydrogen has some similarities with group 1 and group 7 next point wrong order of atomic masses of some elements could not be explained with this mendeliev's periodic table so next we converted to the modern periodic table now this modern periodic table contains 118 elements the physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number so Mendeley periodic table was atomic weights according to the atomic weights and here it is atomic number according to the atomic number. So it has 18 groups and 7 periods and uh, elements with the same number of valence electrons are placed in the same group like example lithium, sodium, potassium they all are known as alkali metals whereas their last shell contains all are equal one electron as a valence electron so they are all in a same group next number of shells increases as we go down the group maximum electron can be filled by 2 n square where n is the shell number so we all know this formula 2 n square now let's check how this n increases with the shell number increases n equals to 1 then in k shell it contains 2 n square 2 into 1 equals to 2 so maximum 2 electrons can be placed in the k shell elements or the k shell contains maximum 2 electron next n contains 2 where the total number of electron is equal to 8 then n equals to 3 the total number of electron is equal to 18 so so on you can carry with this n number increasing and you can get the different value for 2n square next the very important topic is the periodicity properties how the modern periodic table arranges its periodicity properties in a different way. Let's check the topic 1 atomic size. We all know atomic size refers to the radius of an atom. The distance between the center of the nucleus and the outermost cell. Here the atomic size decreases as we move from left to right in a period due to the large positive charge on the nucleus the electrons are pulled in more close to the nucleus and size decreases next the atomic size increases as we move down the group as new shells are being added 
and this increases the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron. So in the diagram I am showing you the atomic size decreases along the left to right and atomic size increases from the top to bottom. Next point metallic character. We all know metallic character means the tendency of an atom to lose electron. So on moving from left to right the metallic character decreases because the effective nuclear charge increasing. So it means the tendency to lose the electron decreases and metallic character increases as we go down the group as the effective nuclear charge decreases. So two important periodicity properties are there. The relative tendency of an atom to attract the shared electron pair of electrons towards itself is called the electronegativity. Fluorine is the most electronegative element in the periodic table. So in a period left to right, electronegativity increases and along the group top to bottom electronegativity decreases. So from left to right it's increase and top to bottom it will decrease. Next topic ionization energy. Ionization energy refers to the amount of energy required to remove an electron from an atom. Or better to say that one electron is removed from the outermost shell of an atom. So here ionization energy decreases as we go down a group and ionization energy increases from left to right. Let's check for sodium and magnesium I am drawing here a comparison between the sodium element and the magnesium. Sodium contains 11 electron in it. So KLM concept when we divided that sodium into 281 at the outermost shell it contained one valence electron. So it will be very easy to remove that one electron from the outermost shell. That is why the first ionization energy of sodium is low compared to the magnesium. Because in magnesium M cell contains 2 electrons in it which is more stable than sodium. So it requires the higher energy to remove that one electron from the outermost shell. Next case when it is second ionization energy already in sodium Na plus it contains 2 and 8 electron in the L shell, last shell contains 8. So it is the stable one. So here we require very high energy to remove one electron for the second ionization energy. Whereas the second ionization energy for the magnesium is quite low. So I think all of you have understood this topic. These are the main important topics of periodic table please learn by heart and practice the question answers next day i will come with another topic for you thank you so much for watching this video i hope it is very helpful for your lesson